Okay, here we are at the end of a beautiful but brisk December day riding Victory's Crossroads. This is the 2011 model. More or less the same bike as uh, the 2010, which was the first year of the uh, cross bikes. So this may look familiar to you. Um, perhaps you've seen a lot more of the cross country on our site. This is the Crossroads. Obviously the difference between this and the cross country no big bat wing fairing. We could maybe say this is the unencumbered cross of the cross bikes. No radio, not a lot of dash area and gauges. Um, same powertrain, same great chassis, same brakes. Functionally, everything about this is almost a carbon copy of the cross country. Uh, and as a matter of fact, it even comes with uh, cruise control as standard like the cross country does. Lacking the large bad wing fairing, I think this bike uh, handles a little bit better and, and is a little easier steering at slow speed doing tight radius turns, pocket parking lot uh, speeds, things like that. I found that this was uh, a little easier to wield around. Simpler bike, more maybe more purist. Uh, the base model for $14.99 comes with these leather saddlebags uh, and that's it. The windshield you see here is an extra about 550. So where does the Crossroads fit, so to speak, in the market? Victory made no bones when they introduced the uh, cross bikes a couple years ago that their direct target was Harley Davidson. This, if you're familiar, is aimed right at the Road King. Now the difference with the Road King, uh, other than the price, so the base model Crossroads is $14.99, the standard Road King is $16.99, so that's a big selling feature for Victory. However, there are some key distinctions uh, between the two bikes. The Road King, you get hard saddlebags, you get a windshield, and you even get some uh, highway bars or engine crash protection. Key distinction, 106 cubic inches standard. Road King, 96 cubic inches. So go look at our recent test where we had the Victory Cross Country and Harley's Street Glide in a head-to-head -head, along with uh, another bike. This bike made significantly more torque and horsepower. Um, and on top of that, that Street Glide had uh, Harley's 103 cubic inch power pack upgrade. So you're gonna get a lot more motor in this picture.